Okay, y'all. Y'all know me. I'm trying to be resilient. Let's talk about the small wins. Come on, y'all. I'll show y'all what I got. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Steph, growing in Zone 6B. If you are here for the first time, welcome for the first time. So, if you guys have been following my channel, you know that I believe in celebrating the small wins. So, um, the other day, I had some, probably a groundhog, chew down my collard greens. Um, I was upset about it and, you know, I was a bit discouraged and I'm like, geez, I've been fighting these animals all season long, tired of fighting these animals, but you know what? I am going to remain resilient and I'm going to show y'all what I got because we celebrate the small wins. First of all, I haven't been getting any eggplants all season, but... Look at this amazing eggplant. I got one right there. And I got blooms, y'all. Check that out. I got blooms. So, to me, that's a win. That's a win right there. Um, I could not have any eggplant at all. I'm going to try to make some baba kanoosh. Um, I haven't made it before, but I heard it's really good. I'm not a huge fan of eggplant. Um, but, you know. No time like the present to try it. Another thing is, as you can see, I've started up again with the cayenne pepper because clearly that groundhog is back, but I still have peppers producing. That is a beauty right there. Look here. Peppers right there. There's one in the back. Y'all, that's a win. Another thing that I'm celebrating is my broccoli plants again i put some cayenne pepper on these plants if i rub it see it doesn't hurt them um look like uh oh there go a worm let me get him gone now gone uh <laughs> it's a worm on that plant but these broccoli plants look good i got one two three right here there we go there's a hole right here. Let me check it while I'm out here. Nope. Nothing on that one. Five. Still got one right here. Couple of holes there. Let me check it. Nope. That one's good. Apparently, I missed one right here. And one there. Over there in that basket. And there, and there, and in the back. So, very nice. I still have those growing. Uh, and I'm happy. This is my first year having ground cherries. Even though it's late next season, I am excited. This was a first for me this year, trying ground cherries. They are so delicious. They are going to be a staple in my garden every year. Mm-hmm. Mm. and there they go ground cherries if I come over here to my compost bin what y'all see nothing look right there got a little squash growing right there winning winning y'all see these peppers producing See them peppers producing? All of these peppers are still producing, which I think is so amazing. Weather has been beautiful. I even got some giant Marconis coming in. Y'all, if I come into this greenhouse, my Meyer lemon did nothing this year, but you know why it's a win? Because when I first brought it out here, all the leaves were gone and them leaves came back. To me, that's a win. 
Um, this is a hardy orange tree or a calamandan. They come in right there. I'll leave these in the greenhouse. I took them out um, because it got a little cooler. I mean, because it got hot in here, but it's 76 degrees in here. So, and it's like 60 something outside. So, I'm going to leave that in there. Let me show y'all what I am super, super duper excited about. I am. Get excited, y'all. Get excited. These are my green beans. Y'all see them? Now, y'all know I planted them bush beans. The animals got my bush beans. I only got like two green beans off of there. But look. Look at that. Wonderful. Coming in there. Look at all these flowers, y'all. You guys, all of these flowers are coming in. I'm going to get some green beans. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So that just goes to show you, um, you can plant green beans late and get this second harvest. I don't know why I didn't plant these Kentucky Wonder pole beans in the first place. Because Kentucky Wonder pole beans always do amazing for me in my zone. They always do amazing. Look at these carrots. They're not chewed down. They're nice and healthy. And I haven't gotten any peas in the spring all season. Bam. My first pea plow flower. First pea flower right there. I'm about to get some peas, y'all. Look, and they climbing. And they so pretty. Look, I'm, I'm super excited. Now, even though... These collard greens were chewed down. Look at that new growth. They're going to come right on back. And look, my soil was good. Because they go on mushroom. I wonder what kind of mushroom that is. If anybody know what kind of mushroom that is, let me know. I be, I, I'm interested in stuff like that. Over there. There's one way over in the corner. But even here, they're coming back. This one, not so much. I'm hoping it does. But that one's coming back. So I still have some, guys. You know, that's not that's not too bad. That's not too bad. And my watermelon's still hanging. My lonely watermelon. There it is. It ain't ready. See that tendril? It ain't ready. Not yet. But that tendril is getting brown. It's getting there. My little watermelon. So. Oh. And look. I even got a few tomatoes trying to flower. Ain't that about nothing? Ain't that about nothing? I was about to get ready to pull these tomatoes. Because they look horrendous. And I was supposed. Truth be told. I was supposed to bend pull them. But you know. How it go. In the garden. You're supposed to bend do something. And it didn't get done. So. That's just a few things that. I have growing y'all I am super excited about the progress I could have nothing but instead you know God saying fit for me to continue to reap the rewards you know if you don't believe that's okay to each his own it's what I believe and I'm at peace with where things are today and I'm so very grateful for it um, if y'all have lost your resilience, you know, you get out there, get growing, you know, things will happen. I will do it better next year. Um, learn from what happened this year. And, you know, that's going to be that. Y'all take care. And um, I will see you guys on the next video. Happy fall planting. And uh, bye for now.